I think I think you're gonna like what we're gonna share. The Borderlands future looks awful. Problem with the Wonderlands is lack of in-game and lack of solid DLCs. Just the length of the mirrors was just not enough. It wasn't what we wanted in a hundred chaos levels. This wasn't it. The community I once known and I once loved is slowly devolving into something rather boring and generic. I'm not excited. I wish I was, but the thought of a new Borderlands game kind of just makes me sad. Oh, okay, uh, I'll, I'll eat crow on this one. I was wrong. This was not fun bad. This is just pretty painful. That, that intro led me to believe that it would be fun bad. I'm so, I am so sorry. I just feel awful now. That's on me. That's on me. That was a bad read. So, you know, sometimes you make a bad read. It feels like forever ago that I would get on YouTube and see my recommended page filled with all my favorite Borderlands creators making content they genuinely seem to enjoy. Nowadays, the videos seem more forced, the games feel more dull, and the community just seems tired. I believe Gearbox is lost, and that they have been for a while. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see the decline in the quality of their products over the last five years. But before I get ahead of myself, I'd like to make one thing absolutely clear. I love the Borderlands games, and always have since I was a child, but I'd be lying to you if I said I loved them as much as I used to. The last three entries into the series have shown me clear as day that Gearbox either doesn't listen to their fanbase or just ignores the feedback altogether. I know you've probably heard one of, if not many of the creators in the space, say the same type of thing. None of them are wrong. Gearbox has made it clear that they do not want to change at all. My proof being the writing in every game since Borderlands 3. Five years ago. I feel almost offended that a franchise with a mature rating now has some of the most juvenile writing I've ever heard, which is ironic because it was seemingly written as to not offend anyone. Shredded Nerd sums it up pretty well. Take a listen. You know those tweets that are like, capitalism low-key killed our vibe and gaslit us into being okay with our bosses and landlords taking our excess value? And then it has like 250,000 likes. I'm more so just referring to the Twitter style of speaking, the tone and affectation and vocabulary. Now, have you noticed this style of writing in modern games? Now, my reason for feeling this way is because it almost feels like the writers think we, the players, don't have the mental capacity to understand a complex plot or complex humor. You could argue that the first Borderlands and Borderlands 2 had the same dim-witted writing, but I beg to differ. Those games may not have had the most deep and thought-provoking stories, but at least I felt something while playing them. They had character. They had soul. Something Borderlands 3, Wonderlands, and New Tales had none of. Now, I don't solely blame the writing team for this, as this man right here, I'd be willing to bet, has a lot of pull when it comes to what gets the green light and what doesn't. This is Randy Pitchford, the founder and CEO of Gearbox Entertainment. Now Randy's got a troubled past, whether it be the infamous hard drive scandal or his downright horrible tweets towards the players. There are plenty of videos that do a better job covering those than I ever could, but that's not why we're talking about him. I'm going to play a little clip and I'd like you to comment down below if you think that Randy has a lot of sway in the writing process. There was this one tweet that the guy made and um, I'm, I'm going to read it to you because I'm curious what you guys think about it. First woman on the moon, Houston, we have a problem. What? Never mind. What's the problem? Nothing. Please tell us. I'm fine. <laughs> that was the guy's tweet. Now look, I, I love a good joke. I mean, for fuck's sake, I own the Duke Nukem franchise. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not above... 
but this was supposed to be my science feed, you know? And so I, I replied to him, I unfollowed the guy, and I said, God damn it, sexist much, have to unfollow now. Because it was kind of sexist. And I've gotten a lot of hate over the years. I have never, ever gotten so much hate just for that. And I wasn't, I didn't direct that to the world. I literally just, re just replied to the guy and told him why I was unfollowing him. Apparently people are watching everything I'm doing. A whole bunch of people had to spend a huge amount of time telling me what I'm an, what an asshole I am for having the opinion that that was a sexist thing. And so, um, so I'm gonna play a song. And this song's called The Bigot Song. After seeing that clip, I think it's pretty obvious where the funny jokes come from. Before Borderlands 3, I had really thought that over time, the Borderlands games would get a bit more mature as the devs and player base got older, but it actually seems that the opposite has happened. Me personally, I'd rather not hear garbage about pretentious influencers while I play video games. I already hear and see enough of that in my everyday life. I have 700,000 in cash right there. I got $700,000 in cash right there. Money does not buy happiness. Materialistic things come and go. Materialistic things are cool for the moment, but they get, they get boring really quick. For example, chat, I bought a car. I bought a, 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 a Tesla. Um, I ain't I ain't bought a Porsche 911 Targa. I got bored of the car the day after. It's boring. You know what I'm saying? No, we don't. We don't know what you're saying, Aiden. Anyways, back on topic. I brought all this up to ask you, the viewer, one question. Do you think that Gearbox can rebuild their reputation? Over the years, I have seen some of the best and some of the worst products come out of this studio. But the truth is, I really don't think it's possible for them to ever get back to that former quality of products they once had. I think it's time that we accept that Borderlands 2 was an anomaly, a flash in the pan, lightning in a bottle when it came to Gearbox and their products. And just to add more fuel to the fire, creators recently are leaving the space and branching out, like Moxie and Chadley. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing, as they still cover Borderlands, but others, like Thick Filet, have removed all of their previous Borderlands content from their channel entirely, essentially distancing themselves from the games and moving on. But can you blame them? If the only thing keeping the game alive is the creators and dedicated fans, what's gonna happen when those fans get fed up and those creators get burnt out? It's pretty obvious that the series isn't what it used to be, as it feels more like a shell of its former self than anything, much like a lot of games nowadays. That's why I say that Gearbox can't rebuild their reputation, as the damage has already been done. But that's just my opinion. If you've enjoyed this video, leaving a like helps me out a ton. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day, and goodbye. <laughs>